What are we jamming on now? Jab. Do you even remember? I don't know. The last time I asked you what you were playing, I don't even know. I don't even know when that would have been, but I'm excited to hear, uh, Jab, what you're playing now. Oh, uh, God. Uh, I, th- I uh, forgot that we did this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, other than uh, Deadly Towers, of course. <laughs> um, yeah. Other than Deadly Towers. Uh, fuck. What am I playing? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm playing... Um, I'm currently playing uh, Tale of Two Wastelands. Uh, my buddy, he really did me a solid. I guess I did him a solid, but it, as payment for watching his house back last summer, uh, he installed Tale of Two Wastelands on my computer. I uh, did a hell of a job, too. So it's a combination of Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas all into one game with some quality of life and like graphical improvements. How the fuck do you... Whoa. Traverse between Washington D.C. and the wasteland in Nevada. Um, so there's, you have the, uh, you have the, uh, da, 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 you get the, that teleport gun from the old world's old, old world blues DLC from Vegas. Eventually, okay. when you do it. Other than that, you start the game in Fallout Three in the vault. You get the thankfully skip the fucking hour and a half long growing up bullshit. <laughs> And then you get out and you're just in Fallout 3, and then eventually you have to find somewhere, uh, a location, and complete a little quest to get out to Vegas. And then once you get there, I th- I can't remember, I think you might be able to just take the train back, but once you do the Old World Blues and you get that teleport gun, it just takes you wherever you need to go. So, okay. Interesting. Okay. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. It's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Do they have... Do they have the NYC mod? Have you have you fucked with that? That's got to oh, exist by no, now. Not yet. Um, yeah, I, I wanna... haven't done that or the London one. Okay. Yeah, that would be pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, Baldur's Gate here and there. You beat it, right? Yeah, me and my buddies beat it uh, in December. I can't and fucking. Then... Nice. I can't bring myself to play it. I'm so tired of it. <laughs> uh, it's oh, it's man. weird, you know what? Like, okay, it's so, oh ooh, hot take. Quite time. the turnaround, quite the turnaround from hot previous take time. time. Oh, it's, the it's just such a chore, man. It's just it's like I'm, a, a, I'm, a, uh, I'm in the third lot. act, and it's just such a chore. It's a lot sometimes. Um, but I'll say this: everything that game does, outside of like the fact that literally all of their systems work, that's that's very well done. But everything that game does, Final Fantasy Tactics does better and did it earlier. Interesting. Uh, the, I don't. It's the same fucking game. I don't remember Final Fantasy story. Tactics well enough to. But I mean, I that that's the thing. I mean, I've I've already Jay. You've already heard this spiel, but that's the thing I applaud it most for is that there is no limit if you can think of it in a video game context. Anyways, you can pretty much do it in that game, and there is no game I've ever seen or played that's ever come close to that level of like you know. There's just so many little things like finding out. Like, I think I told you about this, Jab. Jay, you definitely heard it. But when I first started playing, and like we, I encountered that big spider in that cave early on, and like I just pushed it off the fucking ledge, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was just like, "Oh my god!" Like that was fucking that's loud, right? Yeah, right. You know, that's possible and loud, yes. And like that shit, like you know, that's obviously the most minute example, battle based stuff. But like you know, if you don't, you, you don't have to. You almost don't have to fight at all if you really want to go to full role playing links in that game. There's just so much. Uh, there's just so much to it, you know, and and that is so commendable, but it's also so exhausting. <laughs> it is. It's truly exhausting. And yeah. like, I was gonna say something about that game. Now I can't quite remember what the hell it was. So pretty much, that game has to be the game you're playing. Like you're. I think so. What I, you're spending your time to in, pop so in and you, pop out is actually really tricky. Really tough, yeah. yeah, man. Really tough, and yeah, it's just really tough. Like I said, we're in the yeah. third act, and like every time I pick it up. The past few times I've been kind of like, ooh, and like, you know, I'm like, there's, I'm making pro, we're making progress, and like, it's not like I'm stuck on some dumb shit or something. It's just like, I'm just, I'm fucking, I don't, I don't know. I just don't, when I think about wanting, about playing it, when it gets brought up as a possibility, I'm like, I'd rather do something else. I just yeah. don't want to <laughs> do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. It's, That's it's heavy. It, it's a commitment, but uh, yeah. also a fantastic game. It's just, yeah. it's, it's crazy. Yep. Uh, is that it? Baldur's Gate, Tale of Two Wastelands. I I, I throw on some uh, Master of Orion two every once in a while. I uh, I'm trying to like 
play faster games and uh, with a slightly higher difficulty. I'm playing on hard now with like five opponents in a large thing, and uh, it definitely it's making me work for it. So Master of Orion two, and I think that's about it. Can't believe I haven't tried to get that going. You got. I think you you would have to do it with a mod. I think you'd have to do it with a mod that's like quality of life instead. Of, it's very micromanaging and it's actually kind of a pain in the dick. Right. That's what I remember about it. But I mean, I'm sorry. Even the first one, I like. I can't. The novelty of it is cool, but like, it's, it's a not lot something... of fucking planets to manage. Even if it's not micromanaged, it is a lot. Yeah. Well, Jay, what about you, buddy? Man, Mortal Kombat One. Like, I finally picked it up. I was going to pick it up as soon as it was released. But Starfield dropped and life happened, blah, blah, blah. But finally got it. It's a continuation of Mortal Kombat 11. The story is so good. I'm not going to spoil anything. But, you know, traditional Mortal Kombat stuff that you would expect. Have you emailed them? Basically. To explain to them that 1 doesn't come after 11? (laughs) (laughs) Again, if you played 11, you would understand why 1 is titled 1. So, leave it at that. It's, It's great. You know. You're killing people, you're ripping heads off, you're slashing. There's so much, but at the same time, it's very cinematic. So it's extremely well done. It, it is the thing, in my opinion, that, that sets it apart from games like Tekken and Street Fighter VI that are also great fighting games. It's just a story. It's, it's okay. I've heard Excellent. this before that people are like, I can't even remember who I was talking to about it. It must have been like a bar conversation or something. But you know, I, I imagine the conversation went something like, Oh, what games do you play? And I'm like, oh, I play Master of Orion 2 because I'm a fucking loser stuck in 1996. And then <laughs> they're like, cool, I play like modern games that actually just came out, like fighting games. And I'm like, well, I never do that. And they're like, well, Mortal Kombat's the shit. And I'm like, how could it be any different than any other fighting game? And they always say <laughs> yeah. the story. Yeah, it really is, man. It really is. I And I never thought of it like that at first because like when it first came out, it was not like that. It was the blood. Oh, fatalities. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. But from, I don't know, 9, 10, 11, it's really been the story for me, 100%. And now it, it continued that. So I'm, I actually beat, completed the story already. And, you know, and now I'm moving on to other modes, unlocking the fate, not unlocking the fatalities, but exploring them and doing all the other fun stuff and really just trying to get good so I can play against other people online. But nice. Oh, excellent. God, that sounds like a fucking excellent. nightmare. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Every time, yeah. Fucking multi, uh, online multi of fighting games. I just can't think That's of anything. Like, I want to oh do my. less. <laughs> well, unless you guys want to come and go, unless, unless you guys want to come to Seattle and hang out and like sit on the couch and play with me, like that's what I'm going to do. Like, I Honestly, that almost seems preferable. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, do you remember we bought, Um, I'm sorry to hijack your, your uh, moment for a Josh and Jeff story. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember there was that? I can't remember. You're going to know it because you're better at this. Well, you're older, so you're cheating. But there was that general store across the trailer park that I grew up in. Do you know what that was called? Uh, I don't know the name of the store, but I know the, the, the little strip there that had that diner. The fuck yeah, was the name like of that farmer, diner? Farmer Boy. Farmer Boy, yeah. yeah. Farmer Boy, yeah. yeah and the, and the, the other name was like, <laughs> some like colloquial silly thing, too. But um, there we, I think we were in there. At least I was. And one of two things happened. Either I think I know which one it was. Either we bought the magazine that like we used to get have... tons of magazines from there for sure. Okay, that's good. probably where we got most of our magazines. I feel like I'm glad we synced up on that. Um, we I either can, bought... I can picture standing there reading Mad magazines and folding the things. <laughs> and the, the doors behind you, or it's, or it's to your right if you look in the magazines, and then the registers over there. Right. And anyways, we either bought the magazine and it had the uh, the blood code torn out of it for Mortal uh... Kombat. Oh my god, this does, dude! You what you're describing right now is the, how I got my first Sega Visions. I think. Okay. I think you're describing how I got my first Sega Visions, okay. uh, and I had forgotten that is where I had gotten it. But I do have some vague. That is like, I mean, I can't. Ugh, it it's, was, not it was it's not it a visceral thing. It's not a visceral thing. That or we but, tore the blood code out. Right. So I, think, I, think I think. I think that. I think that. I think that. You took the blood code. I uh, yeah. <laughs> that is what I because I, I feel like I yes. I feel and I I do I can. Here's the thing, Jab. Do you remember? <laughs> I'm so crazy. I'm such a psychopath. The I do you remember? There's no way you do. I had this like file box. And I don't know. I feel like I might have at one point kept like G.I. Joe dossier. 
the cards on the back of the fucking packaging, you know, that yeah. looked like file card. I feel like I might have kept those in this at one point. But anyways, I had this file box. And when I first was moving into my Genesis era, like, and I got that Madden 92 copy used from Video Game Exchange with all those Nintendo games before I even had the Genesis for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And, like, I kept the Madden in that box with, like, Genesis stuff that I had accumulated. I'm pretty sure I kept that Mortal Kombat ripout code in that box. And I can picture it being some kind of, like, filing system. (laughs) Okay. There you go. (laughs) Of course. Of course. That is necessary information, man. <laughs> Essential. Files. Essential. Oh, yeah, and I don't even. Yeah, because I got my Genesis kind of late, so Mortal Kombat might even have been out already. As, as Dude, do you remember the Mortal Kombat? Uh, Just very briefly, we won't stay here very long. But like, I this is the fucking crazy. You're such a psychopath. I <laughs> I got Mortal Kombat for Christmas in yes. like '94, and you made me have them return it and I got a different game and I got I can't believe they listened believe. like what what was the what? what was the structure of like I must we I must have you there had to have been like how do you convince them to do that you know what I mean like what what I must have the cra- what's fucked up is like I would have asked for it so like what am I going to say right like, that's oh, what I'm saying but here's that. what I'm saying right but what I'm saying is I would have had to orchestrate some kind of grand plan that involved the way in which you proposed this <laughs> like you must have either already had it. It doesn't make oh. any sense. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I already had it for sure. Because I got it. I got it. And you got. And you had. And you got. And you got Street Fighter Two. I think. Or maybe that's why you got Street Fighter Two. I don't recall exactly. But yeah, that was the thing that I want. That I had and wanted. And you weren't allowed to have any of the stuff I had. That's why. Yeah. That's why you're not a Bills fan. That's, that's why I'm not a Bills so- fan. I'm so <laughs> glad for that. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. So much rather be a Titans fan. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Anything else, Jay? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, really, just Call of Duty. You know, doing some more zombies. Although I think I'm, I think we've done most of the the fun things in zombies mode now. So I think I'm pretty much done. With, you know, do it, do, do it from time to time. I'm pretty much done with that. And then <laughs> I've been playing also a little bit of Bluey the video game. Do you know who Bluey is, little blue dog? I had no idea either. Oh, Apparently, it's a huge. Yeah, my friends' kids are kind of into Bluey. I think. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So it's it's a game. It came out like on Xbox, and because my five year old, I figured he's like, oh yeah, he would love to play that game. So we started playing that together. It's a very cute, you know. Basically, if you're a parent, if you're our age, if you're a parent of a child who has any affinity for Bluey and for video games, you'll have a good time. Bottom nice. line. <laughs> what's the structure of it though is it do they and here's here this is what i think would be brilliant is what i want you to say i want your answer to this this question to be that they designed a video game kind of in the same way that mario odyssey did where you have the character like the your kid can be the hat and mm. like whether what they're doing doesn't fucking matter but they no. are playing but they are playing yeah <laughs> no because i feel like there's too much of that actually like nintendo like on the switch i feel like too many games are like that. Like, there's enough of that where it's like, okay, I, I get it. Like, my my kids actually were playing Mario Odyssey yesterday. They actually enjoy that. But Great this game. is actually not like that. This is more of a... They clearly made this for, like, that for, like, I don't know, three to six-year-old kind of range where... I don't even want to say it's open world. It's kind of like 3D as if you were... A beat em up, but clearly you're not a beat em up. You're just walking around like this this house, and you're the family. Bluey is a dog, and you're like the family of dogs. So you can be like the mom, mm. the dad, you know, brother, sister, call it. And you're moving around just like, oh, we're doing a treasure hunt. We got to find items, and you're just walking around the house together. And they kind of like light up, and you're searching for them. And so you can easily say, oh, Ezra, do you see that? You see the item over there? And he can like move up and grab it. So you know, it's very co op, but like. You're not fighting or anything like sure, that. Sure, so sure. there's no there's no need to kind of like lead. It's more of just – and it actually has some great graphics. So we're moving around the house together like, oh, you want to go down or you want to go left? So it's – it is – it's it's very well done in a way that I didn't feel the need to like, oh, let me drag you along like I would for one of those other games. So yeah. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying that like to do it well <laughs> enough to not feel like, yeah, you're mm-hmm. – it's either a burden or yeah. nerfed to the point of like – not actually going to hold their attention, you know. Finding that balance between the two, I think, is the is a really 100%. impressive accomplishment. Hundred percent. 
Work. And that's it, man. What about you? What okay. are, what are these pyramids? What is what is this? Uh, so well, <laughs> before I get to that, I'm still playing Asgard's Wrath two, of course. I'm fucking uh, getting pretty close to the end. I feel I'm you know trying to hundred percent this shit. So there's like a few. So I keep going back and like dude, there's like this incentive. It has that. It's part of what it's why it's addictive and why the first one and this one have like really wrote me in is because it's got an incredible like character development loop like resource acquisition crafting f- fucking thing going on that keeps me from like just plowing through the story you know so still doing that but nothing really all that interesting to report uh, i started so there's i mentioned i had like a little bit left in my power wash simulator jab have you fucking have i talked to you about this have you do you know do you have you done power have you tried power wash simulator yet for whatever reason when you said that my my ears didn't perk up so maybe you did mention it but I, I imagine you're gonna uh, expound on that a bit here. A, a little bit, yeah. But it's kind. I mean, this is you know, it's I'm playing in VR. That's a relatively new thing. But it's been out on flat screens for a while, and it kind of was like a. It was a. It's a thing, and it was a huge thing when it first hit. I think. For sure. And, yeah, and it's like I mean, you know, with not fucking Call of Duty or something, but like it was definitely people. It was there's just a lot of chat everywhere because it's the, the it's you're fucking power washing. <laughs> You're washing yeah. things. It's like it's like I, a, you're I keep doing waiting for the other shoe to drop here. Right? Yeah, so no, no, it's fine. It's no, yeah, satisfying. but it is so <laughs> satisfying to do or to yeah to do. I don't know. I, to, uh, calling it play is like seems like errant uh, terminology. <laughs> I um I I have a power washer and I have something like the north side of my house obviously needs power wash. So yeah, I, just power washing things in real life is satisfying. I can imagine a video game giving a similar sensation so good and you you know and they oh you of course gosh. you like power wash extravagant things too you know it starts okay. you do you, i mean you're like running a power wash business and like you know your your van shows up and you'll, you'll do oh, you're probably doing like sidewalks and shit and then you end up doing like the statue of liberty yeah that's a great you know okay they, they haven't done that yet but they should <laughs> that one's free but, but shit like yeah it. but shit like that yes for sure like there's like you know i to do a UFO at one point. I had to do, like, fucking all sorts of crazy-ass monuments and shit. Mm-hmm. So, okay. yeah, wildly satisfying. The latest one, and like I said, it's right at the, it's at the end of the career mode, so I'm, like, super close to 100%. I can't imagine there's something after this. I feel like this has got to be the boss, <laughs> per se. Mm-hmm. But it is this Egyptian palace. <laughs> it's fucking insane. Dudes, I... I mean, we're talking, like... This is what I've already logged, Probably six or seven play sessions of significant length. I mean, I want to say, and I'm soloing it, and you can do multiplayer too, which is cool. Like Amy and I can go in and wash each other. We, it, it only like, you know, you're 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 working on their career mode when you're over there, so it's a little bit of a wasted time as far as like development on your bullshit goes. But it, it's the same soothing activity, so you know whatever. And it's just cool to be in the space together. It's just it's not a bad. It's a nice casual. Oh, you guys are both in the VR together. That's cool. Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Uh, so, because it's such a big job, and she's also on it in her career mode, we're like we're not working on each other. <laughs> we're about to do it our own. So uh, I've soloed this full thing, and I've dude, I've I've probably put in like five hours on this already, four or five hours easy, and it's not anywhere near done. <laughs> and, it's, and it's just I don't know, man. It's, yeah, it's gotta be the last job. If I if I finish this. And it shows and me something, something else. And there shows me something bigger. I'm going to shit myself. I'll be happy because I don't want it to be over. Right. But it'll blow my mind if, if there's if they've made a job bigger than this. It's just so crazy, though, how much time and it's just so satisfying. And, like, the drive you have to keep going is crazy. It's Civ-like, which, funny enough, is, you know, one that one more turn vibe is is definitely yep. there. It's, which is not Instead of one more turn, it's just one more side of this fucking pillar. Yeah, <laughs> Finish this off and then I'll be good to go. <laughs> yeah, nope. Because uh, mm-hmm. you, when you're doing that, you're going to spray off a little bit of something over here. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and then I hit this tile on the floor and it's like, well, I'm not Might as well leave. do that. Yeah. Can't can't leave that just half done like that. That's yeah, I'll do one quarter of the floor, but then it's one yeah. quarter of the floor and you're yeah. not going to leave. Yeah. Can't leave that. That would be insane. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's fucking still fucking just. Still going on that. So the thing behind me is for puzzling places, which I've very briefly might have talked about, Jay. Uh, but it's basically a 3D puzzle hmm. uh, app, and you know they take 3D models 
of things, and they bust them up into – you can pick the number of pieces, 400, 200, 150, even out of 25, I think, if you're – I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that low. But it busts these things up, and I bought the app God knows how long ago, and it's great. It's super – you can play it in pass-through mode, which is jab. It's like – it. It basically puts you in the room. You know, this, the, the the new headset allows you. You don't have. It's like you just sit on the couch and you can see everything in your room. And there's just puzzle pieces everywhere, and you can just sit there. So I don't even need to be in immersive mode for it. I can play it pass through. And, you know, the fucking you can see Miyagi walking around by the pieces and stuff, and pet him, yeah. and like, and it's a super super relaxing, chill thing to do. And they'll drop free puzzle new puzzles every now and again but it's pretty seldom which is maybe part of why i've definitely done all of them uh, all the free ones uh, so i don't for that reason i i don't do it a ton and i've never bought anything from them even though i've said out loud i should <laughs> because it's such an incredible job uh, of uh, with an app and i for whatever reason they dropped this mosque one not too long ago and it was like fucking incredibly difficult so i'd spent gotten again i don't know how many hours fucking putting that together and i just finished uh, last night but while i was doing that i was like i gotta get these motherfuckers some money so i the one i talked about i remember talking to you about jay was the egyptian pack and they have like a you know it's like six bucks and you get i think four or five puzzles and it's you know it's the pyramids the sphinx inside of a pyramid and then something else and yeah i'm fucking working on that egyptian one right now or started it last night and it's just it's so fucking it's so like again same thing it's the same exact whatever is wrong with me and a lot of human beings not just me that like satisfying of like tedious activity it makes this little noise when you snap a puzzle together when you snap Ooh. them two together that is like Way satisfying. And then also, as you build the puzzle, and like, I don't, there's no way it's, 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 it's a broad enough and, and, and there's enough different ones to not be able to discern the math real time. But as you like, either like put certain pieces together or like finish a certain part of it or something, it does also extra little just super satisfying things that are the same vein as that little click sound, you know, of just like auditory rewards for your perseverance and effort, you know, <laughs> it was just so satisfying and relaxing, a uh, great fucking thing. So playing plenty of that. And then the last thing, fucking on the Civ 2 topics, we got out for some reason. We didn't want to play Baldur's Gate, actually. I think that was the incentive. Uh, we fired up Civ 2 last night for the first time in God knows two. how long. Yes. Or not, sorry, not 2. I apologize. Civ 6. Good God. <laughs> but, I was that, like, I can't sorry, wait to hear God. this story. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's a good response. I don't know why. I, I did I did too. I was, well, I know why. It's because this is the first one. <laughs> right, if that, right. if that makes sense. Right. And it, it should be. It is. It's not technically, but it should be. The So, yeah. So, we fucking, you know, and whatever. We got, we got on some more hardcore up till like two o'clock last night up way later than I anticipated mm. the plan was at like 12 45 i'm like okay 10 more turns we're going to bed you yeah, gotta, right. gotta record in the morning <laughs> can't be up fucking on some till sunrise and then right after that i get surprise attacked by the macedonians they fucking first they take one of the city states that i'm suzerain of uh, is that how you say that word suzerain su- su- suzerain i don't know but suzerain, i'm not sure who one are of the you, ones by the way. I am the Persians. And yes, they take this word, this city state that I'm aligned with that's right on my border to like create like a a good staging point. And I saw it coming and I'm like, are these motherfuckers serious? Like I can, yeah. you know. And then <laughs> and then so it, I guess I shouldn't say it was a total surprise, but like you know, I don't know, sometimes they'll do shit like that uh and and not actually invade. So I you know, I don't know, I didn't take them seriously, I guess, and they just fucking they they Got that shit, and then fucking kind of got their shit together, and then fucking just poured onto one of my cities. And I was mm-hmm. like, I can't, you cannot go, you can't just go to bed. <laughs> yeah, like, what, I'd be so fucking stressed out, yeah. <laughs> you cannot just go to bed after getting invaded fucking out of nowhere by the fucking Macedonians. So, yeah, so now I'm up to like 2 a.m. dealing with that, and fucking uh, I was able to defend off that offensive, and they are now, uh, they just at, at the retreat was enough of like a break point that I yeah. could. Yeah. That Push I them back. I, I'll finish the rest later. Exactly. But yeah when, yeah, when I pick that shit up later tonight, there'll be some consequences and repercussions. 
<laughs> the Achaemenid <laughs> Persian Empire probably Russians. said that themselves in real life when, when uh, Alexander invaded. Like, you know what? One of these days we'll get this motherfucker. That's ex- yeah, that's exactly who it is. It's, Alexander was who it was. Who it was? He's a, he was a bad motherfucker. <laughs>